Hello everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining me for business planning. Um, if you watch just my business planning or just my personal, it's a okay. <laughs> like I know I repeat things between the two, but I did have quite a lot more interest in this planner. Um, again, I think what the feedback was, it was both the planner and business planning. So I'm going to keep doing it again. I'm kind of ramping up. Um, I did get a lot of website work done this week. And so I feel like I'm getting a lot closer to making other plans around getting the word out, about that, which is social media or newsletter or all those other types of things. So um, yeah, that feels good. It feels good. I got some writing help. So I got um, like the writing fine tuned and things like that. So yeah, but I was fixing some bugs. So like making sure that it shows up really nice on desktop and on your phone, mobile. Um, yeah, it's kind of going through that. So that is coming. Um, but we are going to, let's see. This was the week before. This was last week. Um, as you see, <laughs> I don't check in with this one quite as much. Um, and then I got these to match. Um, I used all three of these for my personal planning. So I'm going to use one of those, probably the thin one. Um, cause I think this, I don't think that'll be. So one of those, one of those, this thinner one's kind of working on the bottom and then putting in maybe a little stickers. So, um, and the other thing. Let's see, so I did get that. And then the newsletter I'm kind of pushing forward. And then the quarterly tracker. Oh, I did put in things for my quarterly tracker. So I put in, I did go ahead and go with the same things here. Although I, I took out all ideas because that was kind of generic and then put in videos, um, meaning watched videos. So client, and then you can see here, it's a few days off here. So I have been definitely doing this. Um, oh, when was that? Hold oh, please. <laughs> Referencing my other one. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 17th, 19th, 15th. 17th, not 18th, but 19th. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for holding. Um, did I have any posts on Wednesday is when I did that. And then I'll have one on Sunday. Whoa, oh, <laughs> I'm looking over here. <laughs> Sorry, if you can see. I'm so used to looking at this column that I'm not looking at this column. So that's where 20th, I kept going, the 20th is not a Tuesday, 20th is today. So <laughs> there we go. Let's kind of get this here, Saturday. There we go. So this is gonna come out tomorrow and the next day. Um, Sorry, this one's coming out in two days, but, and yeah, a lot of client check-in and comments and anything else I can do for clients and then videos. Oh, I was doing that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like that. Okay. So trying to let it dry. I think I got a little inky, a little inky. Um, actually that was, <laughs> was the name of my, um, grandma's dog was Inky. He was, now we had pugs, um, not growing up. Like I had a lab growing up. We, we were raised with dogs, but when I reached my twenties, I got pugs and they reminded me so much of my grandmother's Pekingese. They both have those smushed faces they kind of almost smell the same. There's maybe it's the wrinkled up nose. I don't know. Um, and 
Yeah. I, I don't know. So Inky. Inky was his name. So, oh, this is the one that's coming out tomorrow. Okay. Nothing else. These. So website working on that. And then the stats and social are coming up. These are... Um, so 116, this is the one I'm going to record this week. What is your balance load capacity? And then 117 is how to prioritize. So that's if you want a little sneak peek is coming up. Um, I didn't move these over um, because this one was really pretty and I guess I just didn't move it over. But yeah, that was the quarterly tracker that I wanted to get up to date and then doing plan with me. So, uh, yeah, really successful for that week, two weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this was more home oriented. So definitely, um, I got these done and I went to my primary care. I don't need to check off. Well, I guess I can check those off. And then my husband actually ended up going back to the dentist here. At 1.30, I'm kind of using that, those boxes a little different. And I had these. And so technically today's the 20th. Um, these went out. And so I'm not duplicating. So last time I had duplicated so much there and a lot of was going on. Like I, yeah, I had my renewals and things like that. So this week is actually, um, my business credit card has a closing date. Like it's due on the 16th, but the closing date on the 20th. And I try to zero it out. So I had a few little trailing things. So I'm just trying to zero it out. Um, and I think I did do that tonight. So, I mean, I've been like paying the past couple days. I just like to do that. I don't know why <laughs> it's, could I have 20 bucks on there, <laughs> you know, until next time? Yeah, I could, but I, I do that. I do that. Um, so the big news for this coming week, planning 22nd through the 27th, I have surgery on Friday. I just, well, this last Monday, so Monday the 15th, they called me to schedule it. I kind of knew, I didn't know everything. Um, I kind of knew that they wanted me to do it. And I was like, yeah, but what if we just lump it all together with something else? And my gynecologist didn't really get back to me. Um, Cause I'm looking at hysterectomy, but then they were like, well, what if we go in there and take a look around? And I'm like, yeah, but if I'm going under, it's expensive. So could we just do that instead? Just take it out. Like why look around in there when we're just taking it out? But, um, I may take a different route and I kind of know what's, what's going on. So, and we have really good insurance right now. Like the best I've ever had. <laughs> And, um, yeah, we're going to just go in there, see what's happening. So I need to go in at eight 30. So I'm going to start here and it's going to be probably till about two. Um, it's only about an hour, but there's like in and out and then watch time. They just want to watch to make sure, um, especially any bleeding or anything afterwards or any infections or any anything going wrong um I have to say as I said my personal one I feel pretty confident in this I had another surgery back in August so it wasn't that long ago and it went really well um not in terms of the diagnosis like <laughs> I was diagnosed with something at that point a big health thing chronic health thing but um that's not the part I'm worried about. Like they'll diagnose me with whatever is going on. What I'm concerned more about is the being put under and being incapacitated. So, um, yeah. And for those who have been 
have been the subject of childhood abuse, um, that can be a very hard thing to feel incapacitated. And I think that's all I'll share, but that's why I get panic attacks. Um, and so I ask for a hand to hold and they do, they do do that. <laughs> when I was having my one in August, the sweetest, um, Oh, what's it called? Anesthesiologist held my hand while she administered the drug. I don't think she normally does that. Um, I think, you know, on Friday, if that happens, it'll be a nurse holding my hand instead. But um, yeah, I don't know how she did both because you have to like do a syringe. She had to plunge a syringe while holding my hand. She did it. And she was sweet. I... Yeah, I don't think I'll have the same person because it's at a different facility, but, and I woke up and then like, you can walk out of there just fine after my August one, but this one, I think it's going to be, um, more recovery, more recovery. So I am not scheduling much. I'm going to be recording here. And I'm going to be recording my reset here. So I possibly was going to have the surgery here. And so on Monday when they called, they said, hey, the first week of June here, the end of the June, well, these days they were going to schedule me for this Friday. And I was like, no, I don't even want to go this route. Can you have her get back to me? And then a couple days later, I'm like, no, I need to have this done. So... When I called back, they were like, no, we can squeeze you in a work week earlier. It's for Memorial Day. Um, I'm just going to put um, up here, recovery. And I'm going to be watching a lot of shows and just chilling, taking some Tylenol. <laughs> and that's it. Um <clears throat> It could be by, you know, Saturday that I'm feeling better, but I'm just going to take it easy. And, oh, I don't have any more dragonflies on here, but I will put a butterfly here. And I think some ink splotches like I did in my personal. Just kind of, do I like that? I don't think I like that. <laughs> I thought I'd get kind of quirky with it. It actually reminds me of a website I did for somebody. It had, um, I have to say, I was really proud of that website. The whole website had a grid pattern behind it. And then we overlapped these polka dots over stripes and things. And they were all different colored polka dots. It was really cute. Um, yeah. And it's hard to have a grid pattern on a website and have things line up. I will say that. It is a bit of a challenge. So I am kind of just, I have another sheet of these stickers, but I'm kind of just using these up too. So I also want to kind of put one, is that too obvious? Yeah. Where else could I put one? I don't normally put anything here. Just here. Maybe that's a little lopsided. I don't know. <laughs> I have my tweezers here to take things out. Okay, so I do have my normal. So I didn't hear back from anyone on how they use their numbers here. Like, do you start, again, uh, if you missed it last week, do you start on the two for the two o'clock? I was actually starting a square up, but then when I was doing half hours, it would get confusing. So I'm going like two to three, if that makes sense. Uh, also, because I did that close up, it reminded me that um, I had been exporting all these videos in 1080 and it's fairly clear, you know, I had struggled with many other cameras, just being able to see any of these numbers from afar, see anything I was doing. 
Um, but then I realized I could change a couple, do things a little differently within iMovie. Like it's just iMovie. I'm not making this complicated. This is my phone up here. I have my, it, it streams directly to my hard drive. There's no, um, cords or anything except for my microphone. And then I realized in iMovie, iMovie, or is it just movie now? <laughs> it's, um, if you import the first clip in 4k, it'll put the whole project in 4k. So my intro has always been 1080, but if you put the 4k in first, the 1080 will then it'll, it'll upscale just slightly, but the whole thing, like what I'm filming here will be more high res. So I'm hoping that some of these details are a little bit easier to see. Let's see, I can kind of trace these since these are from last week. Um, and then I have on Wednesday, I have a one o'clock. I actually have to be there a little earlier. So this is my pre-op. And then I think I'll just put in the middle here. Surgery. Um, uh, what else am I missing? Um, <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong pages. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Cause it was just this one and this one that were extra. I have a three o'clock here client call, and then we moved it here for the other client call. We might, yeah, I was talking with her and seeing about three times a week. Usually, I think the, the next week we'll look at three times a week. Because um, for her, sometimes three times a week is a whole lot better. Um, yeah. Okay, so I will put... I like being able to see through these. In with me so you don't have to flop back and forth the reset is there and then oh I don't get to see this one though um, so that's one square in here like that um let's see I feel like I need to put some things in the sidebar here Oh, <laughs> okay. I am a little tired. Zero out credit card. That's the same thing. That's the same exact thing. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and check that off. Um, and the website work is, doesn't mean it's done. It's just that I'm working on it. And in my personal planner, I said website was the only thing I'm focusing on this week. Um, there are some videos I want to watch but that's I'm keeping it keeping it very simple there there isn't any like really big like business things coming through so that might be about it <laughs> it's kind of short and sweet but I need to leave like a lot of room in here um so what I did do, let's see. So that's when this comes out, but I need to, I'm going to put it here and not. So here's my thinking. I'm just going to do this for filming to making sure that the filming's done before this whole weekend. So it's a little like, like this is nice and straight. <laughs> Do I want to fix that? Probably, probably since I have the time and fix that and we might be done. Um, yeah, I wanted to share definitely the um, video thing I figured out. I thought there was one other thing. 
Well, I mean, there was a surgery to talk about planning around. Oops, that didn't even get on there very well. Let's see if I can do that better. Well, that's just how it's going to be. Okay. Um, what else business-wise, reflection-wise? Um, so the podcast is going to be about... here, what is your balance, load, and capacity? Um, because especially when you have a chronic illness, it's something where your 20% is your 100%. And you may have heard this before. Um, sorry, compared to others, if you are comparing, which isn't the healthiest thing to do, but if you're looking at like, okay, well, I can get out this many social media posts or newsletters or whatever, um, whatever that metric is, if you're comparing and saying, well, I can only put one out a week and this other person puts three, you're both at a hundred percent, whatever that is, whatever that capacity is, that's your capacity and there's nothing wrong with that. And it could be temporary or could be permanent. And there's no judgment in any of that either. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that. I'll, I'll be talking more about the podcast there. I'll leave um, a link to my podcast if you want to subscribe to that down below. Um, I have been using back here. I don't really want to show it right now. I have been using daily lists back here. So that's been working. I'm really glad I had everything like numbered. I can share like... I still need to put some stickers for some of these. Yeah, I only got through, I just penciled in the numbers for like the whole year. Um, and it looks like I got up through June. Let's see, there's my little June. So yeah, the 31st here. And then when you flip to June, I haven't done June yet. Wow, my <laughs> son's getting loud out there. Um, and I have been kind of using this as like pulling out where the notes are if I'm doing like business planning, like I showed last week. And then just consciously like, cause last month I didn't leave room, like consciously not putting anything here. And if anything I need to do on the June 1st, I'll put it down here and then use this whole side for the second. But that's working. These back ones, I don't feel like I'm wasting pages because I can go back and use a few ones that maybe I didn't use on the Saturday or Sunday. Um, so that's working. Uh, and having just like a to-do list every day, it's working. So, and yeah, my list can get like 15 things long. Um, and sometimes they're little things. Sometimes they're just like, well, make this phone call or um, well, that's a little kind of a medium thing, but like go check this number or go see if my, um, credit card needs to be paid or something like that. So I think that's it. Sorry if this is a little short, but wow, they are getting really excited out there. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to take it really easy and wow, the screaming. <laughs> is screaming necessary they're playing video games out there my son and my husband so they are allowed to scream I am gonna go maybe I will scream with them I hope you have a great business week uh, again if there's anything you want answered or have questions about I'm kind of wondering about this one doing some kind of live doing some kind of live where I think I could have like all my planners available and kind of show different examples of things. And like, if you have questions like, um, what would it look like if I was scheduling this type of week or what's a good planner for this and that? And I don't have like all the planners, but I do have like recommendations of other planners I've seen for people that these kind of traditional planners don't work for. Um, there's definitely such a variety out there that maybe it might help you if we kind of talk about, um, how you 
would like to plan or how you feel your reset circadian rhythm is if, if it's daily or weekly or monthly or yearly, quarterly, whatever that is. When do those natural resets feel like you need to reset? You need to kind of wipe the board, get reorganized, look at things fresh. How often is that? So I think that's it. I will see you all next week. Um, I will be filming before everything happens. So I'll touch base with you then. Take care. Subscribe on your way out if you are enjoying these and want to stick around. Okay, take care. Bye.